Let's move on to adding a route that takes in a parameter and also validates that parameter. We will make a custom greeting route that greets the name that is passed. Let's start with importing the joy module that is bundled with Vox, which we will actually use for the validation. We will then use another git method. The path will be hello slash and then we will have a parameter for the name of the person being greeted, which we will just call name, which must be followed by a colon. We need to set up our callback function and this time our send method contains a template string so that we can easily include a variable. We can return the name attribute by accessing the request objects path params attribute. Because we are using the path parameters, we can also use the path param method, taking note that the param in this is singular and not plural. This method allows for defining the expected parameters. The first argument is the parameter name, and then next we can validate the parameter using joy. This joy statement indicates that the parameter needs to be a string and is required. Lastly, we can provide a description that will be generated with a documentation for this. Now, just like in our first route, we can define the response type, add a summary, and add a description. A nice feature of Fox is that it allows for in-place upgrades, so we can quickly upgrade our existing service. Let's go ahead and hop back into the web view and test out this route. Start by clicking into the existing Getting Started service, click on Settings, and then Replace. We'll do Upload here. And then here, I just get rid of the old zip and make a new one for our project. You may have some existing versioning system in place, just in case something goes wrong with this new version, but for our simple example, I'm not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and open this file. And then we'll go ahead and click on Replace. And then we can leave the defaults checked here and click Replace again. The green at the bottom there indicates it worked without error. So let's click back into the service and go to API. And here are both of our routes. Let's test our first one still works. Awesome, worked perfectly. Now let's pull up the new route. And if we click try it out, go ahead and type in your name and then we can click execute. All right, let's have a look at the response. There it is, perfect. Hello, Chris. That's exactly what we wanted to get back. And upgrading a Fox service is really that easy. That's all it takes. And now we can move on to our next route.